Welcome back to What Art You Noobs with General Disturbance. And this battle is rather unusual because it features me. Uh, yes, I'm in the M44 and I'm platooning with TC Freer and Beyond Wood. And we're doing it on live, uh, on stream, on Twitch. Um, and I think this was the first battle that I played the M44. And uh, you'll see how I got on. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get the uh, TeamSpeak commentary that goes with this, but it was rather amusing because uh, I was being encouraged by uh, TC during the battle. Anyway, I'm stuck off because I'm not going to move very too far from the, uh, from the cap. I decided to just find a, a tree and settle down in front of that. I knew that TC was going into the dip. And he was going to head for uh, uh, enemy territory uh, to poke the ridge line around about G6. Uh, and uh, you can see his 5916 heading in that direction. And I've automatically zoomed in my aim. And I think I start indicating. Yep, I do start indicating that I am looking. And we see a T67 straight away, rounds out. And I kill the target straight away. So. Yep, that was a good one for us, a uh, first victory. Um, and TC's poking the ridge line, seeing if he can see anything. Yes, he does. The 60 GFT rounds out. Unfortunately, overshoots. I don't think it was a very narrow angle. And I just couldn't get uh, it resolved because he was he was trying to hide, and TC was doing all he could to illuminate them. I find another round in. There's an explosion, but no result. Okay, TC's taking an enormous risk. And we see the enemy gorilla. Okay, so I immediately home in on that target. Indicate target. Rounds out. Target killed. Got the uh, the gorilla, the enemy opposition. And that was my second kill. And the 60 GFT is been, has been seen. I'm following it. Trying to wait for an opportunity. I'm reloaded, ready to shoot. Rounds out. And unfortunately, that's a little late, but it does splash the 60 GFT for 104 hit points, three critical hits. And I also see an archer. And I indicate the archer. The reason for that being that uh, I thought I could get a shot on that because the 60 GFT went unsighted. But the 60 G was wiped out before my shell arrived. It would have hit, it would have killed. But uh, the archer now has uh, got the focus of my attention and unfortunately he's hiding behind the rock. So I'm waiting for the reload and I'm hoping he's going to poke forward just a little. And when he does I'll splash him but I couldn't see him. I have a look at the other side. Could I get a view on them? Okay the archer comes back into view. Rounds out. Unfortunately it was too hasty but the archer was taken down. And TC, uh, TC got him. Okay, so unfortunately we're losing quite a few tanks over on the far side. And I can't get it beads on these tanks because the hill's obstructing the field of fire. But the Wolverine finds the enemy M44. I zoom in on that target. Try to line up my aim, indicate my target, lead it just a little, rounds out. And I splash him. For 175 hit points, three critical hits. Wasn't enough to kill him. But I decide, to, uh, I get a warning from TC to get my posterior into my second position because uh, unfortunately the enemy seemed to be breaking through in the uh, um, down by the castle. And uh, TC thought it would be a good idea for me to get a little further east. And I acknowledged. I thought it was a smart decision as well because then I could maintain my pressure on the cap if the enemy decided he wants to get there. Now I've found a position here near the houses. I can still fire on the enemy. Okay, and I've got a position here. I can fire on this Churchill. Churchill's in sight. Okay, the enemy uh, M44 has been wiped out by now. Rounds out. Hits! And lovely hit there. 230 hit points. And I indicate to TC he can kill, and he does. Okay, so that's a cooperation between RT and Light Tank. Okay, we see a TC, a T-34. TC warns me that he's coming in, and uh, he's very worried that TC is pressuring him. So I try to give him as much support as I can. 
uh, to pressure the T-34 back in return. And I'm waiting for the reload. He's hiding behind that rock in the earth because he knows that the RT's there because he got stunned by me. But he's taken out and uh, unfortunately in the meanwhile TC was taken out by the OI experimental. But I target the OI. Rounds out. Kill shot. Okay, now we're looking for more targets. There's quite a few enemies still to go. And TC wants me to relocate again because he thinks that the enemy is probably going to be headed to our cap right away and I agree with him I think it's a smart move the enemy know that the uh, heavies have actually made their way to the ridge line okay I see the A43 behind me and I think at this point yeah maybe I can get a shot into the A43 if I can see him so I uh, just around about here I think I stop at K and then I look round to get a shot into that A43 okay Select the A43, try to get a shot in. Unfortunately, I'm obstructed by that hill, so I can't get it. So I relocate again immediately. Try and get further south and leave it to the Skoda and the Griller to try and sort that A43 out. By this point, we know that the OI is also pressuring our Hellcats. And TC asks me to help, the o, uh, help kill the OI. Okay, at this point, we see the OI, rounds out. Good solid hit, 140 hit points, uh, two critical hits, and I think another tank appears. Yes, it's the 3001H. He gets a shot from the Hellcat, so that dissuades him from going any further, but I don't get obstructed by the trees there. I poke around out, wipe out the 3001H. Okay, then I say to TC, maybe I could go for the T1 Heavy next, and he agrees. That's the right choice to go. Okay, indicate the T1 Heavy where it last was seen. Rounds out. Kills the T1 Heavy. Okay, we know the OI is somewhere in that vicinity. Now, that's the last tank on their team. The Griller and the Skoda dealt with the A43. The Hellcat's coming around the mountain to try and spot for me so I can take out the OI. I didn't want to fire off around prematurely because I thought he must have pulled away. In fact, I was very certain that he pulled away. So I needed the Hellcat to find the OI. And there he is. Found him. Okay, he turns to face the Hellcat. Side on to me. And I kill him. 105 hit points. Wipes him out. And wins the battle. And let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a second class tanker for general disturbance in the M44. I get a bruiser medal for scoring at least five critical hits, module damages or crew incapacitations. And I get a top gun uh, for six kills. And there you can see all six kills on the board. And we can see that uh, our platoon uh, did rather nicely. Um, I didn't get the top in damage. Uh, that went to the Hellcat. 1,472 hit points, but I managed to get 1,160. I did get the top in kills with six. The Skoda came with three, and TC got three as well, unfortunately, though he was taken out. But uh, when it came to the uh, XP, uh, I managed to get top on that as well with 770 XP, but TC was right behind me, 753 XP, base XP. So we had a very good battle together. If we look at the detail report, I fired 15 rounds, 7 direct hits, 7 penetration, 4 splash, 1,160 hit points of damage, all at more than 300 meters. I hit 9 of the enemy, killed 6 of them. I did uh, damage, uh, stun assist of 276 hit points, got 5 stuns. Uh, on a premium account, I earned 28,448 credits. But after deductions for ammunition, I took away 20,873 credits. I earned XP of 1,155 times 2 for the first victory of the day. And 35 for playing in the platoon meant I took away 2,345 XP in total. But uh, I think I really do have to congratulate TC because it was his encouragement as well as uh, General Thingy who is a member of What RT Noobs. And so is TC, a member of What Arty Noobs as well, um, encouraged me to get out and play a little more because I've been spending too much time doing videos and not enough time playing. 
So big thanks to both General Thingy and TC. And it was a real pleasure playing with him in Platoon. And I'm going to show you some more battles in the very shortly, which I'll be uploading, which uh, show us wolf packing uh, on uh, various uh, battles. Uh, and of course, TC was actually commanding most of these uh, wolf packs. And we were doing absolutely spectacularly. Uh, you'll see some of them. You'll be shocked at the amount of damage that just three tanks can do to the enemy team. It's it just unbelievable. All thanks to TC Freer. So uh, please do sign up to watch his, uh, his stream. And remember that TC, when he gets to 5,000 followers, which won't be long, uh, he is going to do a massive giveaway where he does gives uh, a year's full of uh, pl um, premium time and the tier 8 tank of your choice. So you really need to follow TC as quickly as you can. And uh, it's jolly helpful because he's a brilliant streamer. Absolutely wonderful guy. Uh, we all like him a great, a great deal. And uh, I um, subscribe to his channel as well as... Uh, um, um, uh, frequently watch him just about every evening that he's on so well uh, thanks very much indeed TC uh, I uh, do hope you like this video please do give it a like if you do and do subscribe to what Artie noobs channel and hopefully I will see you in the next replay